I think this might end up being an amazing vlog. I mean, it needs to be given that it's 40 minutes. We're gonna go shopping to start with and I'm taking you to Dior, to Prada to look at ready to wear and bags, but also we're gonna go and have a look at some new cars. I've got a really decent uh, luxury shopping haul towards the end of this video and I'm also going to do another one of the subscriber mail times so for those of you who enjoy those that's coming up I hope you enjoy another vlog I actually feel really bad because recently I've been doing videos just sat in my room at home and the reason for that is I haven't actually been anywhere for a long time and whenever I get some free time Dave and I are like going for walks and stuff and just chilling out and I I'm obsessed with nature um, and that's what we're doing and there's no point in filming that because it's boring. I do think I might put in this video though a really cool uh, time we had a couple of weeks ago whereby we went uh, kind of like carting. I find that on my Instagram I think the audience must be totally different because on there I have a lot of sort of petrol head girls and guys and whenever I put up the really really intense sort of like mini car reviews and going to car shows it's really popular on there but I think it's less popular on here let me know sorry I'm trying to find a makeup brush I, what I want to do today is go to Goyard a lot of you have been asking me about that brand and when I looked into it I realized it is so exclusive that you can't see what they've got. Like they're online, there's no pictures of anything. There's no mirror in that. Why am I looking at that? Does anyone get this mascara under the eye business? It's really annoying. Yeah, so I wanna go and have a look in there just to see what they have got going on. Um, kind of annoying because I'm parked right near Harrods and um, They've only got one store in London and it's in Mount Street, which normally I'd walk to it actually from here. It's quite a long walk, but I would normally walk to it, but it's raining as per usual. Hello, we are now on Mount Street. For any of you who were watching that, Normally I shop in uh, Knightsbridge, which is where Harrods is. And then uh, typically where I park the car is where Belgravia is, like the district. Mount Street is in the district of Mayfair. And I say all this just because in that last video I spoke about like the housing style here and how if you look here, see the great thing about London or any city really is that you can look around and you can see buildings that quite clearly date from different decades different centuries some of these ones are, are really seriously old I wouldn't even know where they're from but a lot of the houses are Regency and they look really nice figured it out I think it's down here somewhere look at this I always think this is cool and at night all of their lights and they all shine up there nice part of London. It's very quiet today. Ah, oh, here it is. Oh, there's a queue. It's a queue to get in. So I did go in. There it is behind me. You can't film in there. I didn't ask to film. I wanted to relax anyway in there so I didn't want to but then I saw a sign and it had like a camera with a line for it and I like that by the way yeah I did get something the lady who served me said oh how did you know about about the brand almost or the bag in question because I went in there looking for the Saigon bag comes in three different sizes what I bought is apparently so rare I wasn't allowed to see it on the shop floor I had to go into a back room to see it which was weird when I saw it the price is in there let me tell you oh it's not gonna rain is it the prices in there are I think very reasonable based on um, kind of what you get for the money 
and I feel like it's it's it feels like almost like an original Louis Vuitton kind of place of, oh no it's raining I think I'm in a graveyard I'm just walking I'm just walked behind the main row of shops here welcome to British summertime I've got my umbrella now so it's fine but before I go I thought I'd show you this this is a, a small garden just behind Mount Street and I think from memory there's a really sweet church there that looks very old and I think this is the university or college I could be wrong I can't remember I did at one point know if anyone watching knows what this is please comment below but David and I um, we used to come here a lot and just eat lunch and I'd buy some sandwiches and come here it's lovely we're at Harrods why am I going to Harrods? Well, and the reason why I'm here is, I think I told you earlier, but I'm um, come to pick up a jacket. It's more of the new collection and look, still dead. There are a few more people the other way, but yeah, not many. It's very quiet at the moment with COVID. So there's that. I am gonna go into Prada actually in a bit because they've got a pair of trousers that I want to try on if they have them. But yeah, let's do Dior first. What I'm trying on. Uh, so it's come in in the size that I want and it's the bar jacket with the hood on it. For any of you who didn't see the last vlog, then you won't know anything about this, but this is it. And quickly, let me show you my outfit for today. I really like this top. What do you think about this top? Some of you will be like, oh, I don't like it. That's fine. That is fine. Um, the trousers, trousers are actually really old. And I don't know how I feel about them. I got them on sale. They're from Givenchy and I think I paid a hundred pounds or something and I've never worn them and I saw them this morning and I thought I've never actually worn those trousers and the top I quite like So it, it actually isn't my size for a start. It would be more in there, but anyway. Now I see it on, I don't know if I love it. I'll tell you why, it's nice, but it reminds me of my school uniform. And there was nothing wrong with the school uniform, but yeah, now I look at it. What do you guys think? Just like, mmm. I like it, but I don't like it enough to spend the money because this is 3,800. I actually tried this exact jacket on in here. You can see in the, the kind of tweed fabric, the jacket's quite expensive and I don't, I realize now I don't love it enough to actually go and spend the money when I think that's bag money because the jacket is 3,800. But anyway, I'm including some clips here for anyone who missed the last shopping vlog the, this is like a try on from that vlog and it's got all of the latest deal collection. I will link to it below. I'm looking at a version of this puffer jacket, which they've all got drawstring in so you can make them really tight around the waist. And there's this one, which is faux fur, I think. There's this one. But the one that I want is this in black because I quite like these sort of diamond shapes. This is pale pink and it's lovely, but I don't think I'll wear it that much. It's easy to show you there, isn't it? In the mirror. I'll show you this puffer jacket, which, as I mentioned, they all have like a toggle kind of drawstring through here, which is good because then you can tighten it around your waist. Then I want to try on these trousers, which don't look like much, but hopefully they do. Um, they don't have my size, so they are going to be a bit big. Then 
these trousers come in two lengths a deliberately shorter length and a longer one but these these are going to be at my knee i know they're going to be too short so i'm only probably only going to try on the longer version and i'm really hoping that it's very high waist um i mean i don't know maybe i will try these just think they're going to be a bit shorter than what i want them to be first pair of trousers these are them i think they make me look quite thighish though what do you think i think they really do These are too short. <sighs> no. No, just no. Then there is this top, which is like a polo neck. These trousers, I do like these trousers. What do you all think of this? Now, I haven't actually done it, but you can pull the waist in so that it's more fitted. I don't mind it loose though. I quite like that it's cropped. This top's actually a workout top, but I saw it and I thought, mm, it's quite, I don't know how you'd work out in this. It's really warm. Actually, I don't think it's for working out. Maybe it's just casual stuff, but mm, it's quite nice. Don't love it with these trousers. Oh, I don't know. Is that okay? I wouldn't, I don't think I'd wear these together, but yeah. So with the trousers, they come in two, tones there's this or there's what i'm wearing which is the same thing but in a different color i'm thinking you know i really like this jacket and i really like these trousers i am going to try these on again these trousers before i decide these clips here are from the last video that I did, which was only a couple of weeks ago. For any of you who want to see more Prada products, click on that link below. Hey everyone, oh, it's bright today. Guess what? Today, we have come to Goodwood Festival of Speed. We were going to come here anyway, but then it's really weird. We got contacted by the lovely people at Jaguar Land Rover, and Jaguar have invited us here today this is nice. Thank you so much. I don't want to lose any of this paperwork. I'll give you that. So in here is our tickets and wristbands. We are in. It is busy. The weather is good because it's been raining for ages. We're going to head now to go and see uh, Jaguar. Um, but they're over, I don't know how many of you know, there's like a, there's a racetrack here and there's a bridge that goes over and they're the other side. So on this side, it's kind of more classic cars. On the other side, it's newer cars. I need to come closer to this car. Let me adjust the exposure here because it doesn't look on camera the way it actually is. This new colour, this is a new colour called Chalk Blue. It is non-metallic and it's only on the F, the F pace, but specifically the SV, which is the top of the range version. And do not think this is beautiful. I am not dressed glamorously at all today. It's quite, it's not cold, but it's windy here, which makes it quite cold. Anyway, I wanted to come back and have a proper look round the stand. Also, we're going to go and have a look at Porsche, Porsche, um, BMW, who else? 
Lotus, there was a new Lotus out which looks incredible. Um, I think it's electric, that looks really good. We're gonna go and have a look around here first though and then move on. I'm not gonna make this particular bit of the vlog really, really long because I know not all of you are into this. GT4, this has come out now in the PDK which is what this is. PDK is basically auto up until mm, this, this model, this year actually, you could only get it in manual. And I know some people are heavy into their manual, but actually I don't like manuals. <laughs> They're quite annoying. And the PDK gearboxes are more efficient than you could really be with a manual car. Plus in London traffic. No, but look over here, everyone. Look, do you want to see the real good stuff? New GT3. I wasn't sure, wasn't sure how I was going to feel about that spoiler on the back, the way the bracket goes over the top but actually I'm looking at it and I'm thinking I yeah it's quite nice it's quite a nice spec on this as well it's got carbon fiber roof and wing mirrors at festival of speed there is the cars but there's also a whole section for shopping uh, a range of things that you know some of which are automotive clothing and stuff but actually some of it is jewelry items uh, home goods candles you wouldn't think it would you and here uh, uh, in this area it is where you find it so I thought I'd show you some of the shops I actually wanted to look at these leather jackets there's David I quite like the fitted nature of them. It's the weather though. People are going to be like, is that your style? Actually, off camera, it sometimes is, isn't it? Yeah. It sometimes is. Some more here. See, they're quite nice. That's leather. David is currently having to carry everything. Let's look at the front. I'm also looking at this one, and I quite like that shirling one. Shearling one. Um, yeah, this is the f the first one you've just seen me try on. Now I'm going to go for this one. It's the next one. I quite like the colour of this because I've got loads. I've got two black leather jackets at home, and this I don't have anything this colour. Yeah, I think I really like this. I love how sculpted it is there. I, I think I might, if I can, I'll put details of this brand in the description because these are really well priced and this leather feels like really buttery. I've tried on this one and I like it. I know. It's actually really nice. That lone tree up there. I know. Feels the, like me. The baby. That's a better view. I promised you a shopping haul, so I'm going to do that now. I've got quite a lot to show you. First of all, you know those two jackets that I tried on, the leather jackets? I think they looked like nothing but they're so nice and i'm going to show you i'm just going to show you those now actually one is not going to be to everyone's taste but that doesn't matter because i've got to wear it uh, and it's this one and it's very i, I feel like I, I like with everyone we all have multiple sides don't we multiple different ways that we like to dress and i'm this is a way that i dress sometimes by the way, they also did these for men. So for any of you watching, if you like this kind of stuff, you might wanna contact them. And even my husband was like, that actually really works. So I purchased that and I also got this one. Now I'm gonna link to the company below. However, one thing I will say that you might struggle with ordering online because the sizes are really weird. So the black jacket is actually an extra, extra large. And then the brown jacket is an extra small and I was trying on other ones and basically the sizes written on the jackets meant nothing. You could get two jackets the same size and they were both completely different. So you might find it quite annoying to order online. How, but I will say they were so well priced. One, the brown jacket was 150 um, and I think the, like the more black kind of jacket with the 
uh, badges on it that was about 180. Actually, it might have been less than that. I think they were both like I think one was one was 160. One was a bit more expensive, but for a leather jacket, that's really good. I mean, I have got a black leather jacket that I love, a biker jacket, and I bought that from ASOS a couple of years ago, and that was over 200 pounds. And I think that's kind of what you pay now, isn't it, for a leather jacket? But all of these come from Italy as well. Let's do another unboxing. I'm gonna do the the Goyard item first. This is the box that it comes in. Really nice. The shopping experience in there was really weird, actually. Um, who's seen the film Stardust? You know in that film, the, the guy in it, Tristan, is that it? He works in a Victorian kind of um, grocery shop and everything's dark wood. And you don't get anything off the shelf yourself. There's like a shop person that goes round and like picks what you want off the shop. That's what it was kind of like in there. And this was the bag. So I was looking at two bags. One was kind of like a, a tote. And one was this. And this I wasn't able to look at out of the out on the shop floor. I had to go and look at it behind I had to go and look at it behind a um like a screen that was there. Don't worry, it doesn't come with yellow on it. This is all um padding, stuffing. This is the Saigon bag, which comes in three sizes. I was originally looking to get the size medium which is this, and I wanted to get it in white, and they did actually have it, but when I looked at it, it was, oh, it was really nice, but I don't know, I just felt that when it came to the mini size, I felt that I was gonna use this a bit more. Also prices, so I thought the prices were um, pretty reasonable, they weren't cheap by any means, but this, for example, the reason why I didn't get the tote, the tote was really small, and that was 1,600, and it was like, you know the LV never full? Just imagine one of those, but slightly more square shaped, and probably about as big as that, actually. That was 1,600, whereas this was 1,800, and I thought, well, there's more going on with this bag. The, um, the handle on it, by the way, is beech, uh, like wood, and, this ties back to the brand's past history um, of luggage and they always use beach on all of their pieces so even if you go and look at the medium or the small size of this bag they've actually got beach running down the uh, front there the lady was explaining to me that the the print here this is hand painted on and it's painted on by an individual person and there are three layers of paint and if you're going to buy a bag the black versions are cheaper than if you go for colours and I'm assuming that's got something to do with um, maybe I don't know the inks they use they've got camera bags they've got hat box bags everything she was saying they've got a price for the all of those items in black and then a separate like price for all of those items in colours they didn't seem to have lots of colours in every single bag if you see what I mean so it was really a, ca a case of there was a swatch that had all the colours on it and it was like we don't have that, 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 oh we've got black. It was kind of um, limited but to be honest I wanted the black one anyway. I was either going to get black or white but I'm glad I got this because I think the white I would dirty. It also fits my phone. I always make sure that when I buy a bag that's small I unload my current bag and I put everything in it and it fits. On the inside, the leather feels so soft by the way, and because it's like a canvas, it isn't really heavy, but the difference between Louis Vuitton and this, let me show you. On the inside, the reverse is leather, whereas with Louis Vuitton, sometimes I find the reverse is sort of like canvas material. It also comes with a crossbody strap so you can wear it that way if you want to. I've got some Prada stuff to show you in one second but also I wanted to show you these which I they actually turned up a short while ago about a week ago and I thought I would show you them because I really like these. Um, if I just show you them here in a really quick picture I've done, okay, this is not the best picture in the world, but just to give you an idea of what they look like on. These are actually cream here, which I really like, as opposed to them all being white. Um, I thought I would show you those just for any of you interested. I actually bought those with my own Farfetch coupon code. You know how I did a video a couple of weeks ago 
and they always give me a coupon code whenever I do stuff with them and I end up using it most of the time. And the discount I got on those was pretty good. That code, by the way, actually expires on the 10th of this month of August. And I don't know what date we're on now. Are we on the 8th? It's just to mention to anyone who was thinking about using that code, it gets you 10% off pretty much everything except brands like Prada, Fendi, Gucci, Saleron, but it works on other stuff like Balenciaga, Givenchy and things like that. And I don't profit from any of you using that coupon code, by the way, it's just like part of the videos. Anyway, let's look at Prada. This, this jacket that you saw me trying on, I, yes, I did purchase it. Do you know why I didn't get the trousers? You know the trousers I tried on that were the best of the three? I didn't buy them because when I was in that changing room, I thought I'm gonna Google all of this stuff. Specifically, I wanted to look on Doisa Viaroma and on Farfetch because sometimes on those two sites, you can actually get Prada for cheaper. Not because the actual RRP price has been changed, but because both of those brands do random coupon codes. Now I knew on Farfetch I wasn't gonna be able to get a random coupon code, but I checked because on Farfetch, the prices fluctuate. Um, if the boutique is in a different country, all of the prices show in your local currency uh, price. But for example, those trousers were 950 pounds and I found them for 600 and nearly 700 pounds, but 600 and something. And I thought, I'm not gonna buy these in, in the shop. I can make a really big saving. And that price then the next day went back up again on Farfetch, but now it's come back down again. I could find the jacket on Farfetch, but it was no, it was the same price. And I thought if I buy it from Harrods, then I get the points. And it's a short cropped off puffer jacket. When I saw it on the hanger kind of in the shop, I thought, oh, I really do like that. And then I noticed there were different variations of it. And I tried it on and I thought, this is very me. This is the kind of thing that I'm going to wear. So that is that. Now for my favorite bit, I thought I would do a mail time and I've got one, two, three, I've, I've got four cards from you all that I am going to read out. If you don't know what the mail times are, it's, they've become a thing where you guys write to me and a lot of you, I've actually, can I just say, I've got mail from a few of you, Francis, uh, Malia, and someone else. Um, you've all written to me and you don't want your letters read out, which is fine. So if you did want to write, just to, you know, it's fun. If you want to write and you don't want it read out, just write on the letter. Don't read this out. If you don't mind, then you can either just not say or write on the letter, you can read it out. So this card has been sent to me from Donna and Donna, this is going on my desk. I love this card. Can I just show everyone close-ups? Can you see this is beads? And then there's glitter and there's sequins. Hi Sophie, I loved seeing your adorable bunnies in today's YouTube video. I hope you and David are enjoying a beautiful spring and summertime this year. I have to force myself not to think about everything going on. COVID. Your trip to the zoo and shopping were great ideas of things to do. Sending you positive thoughts and much love from Donna. And Donna, Donna, I need to write back to you about this. This is a nice card as well. This is kind of velvet. This is from Caleb. Hi Sophie, I thought this card was so nice, chic and elegant. Just like you, oh, not today in how I'm dressed. But I obviously could not fit everything in it. So simply thank you for your videos. I love them. Best, wish best wishes from Caleb. P.S. You can read any of my letter in a video if you wish. Let's have a look. So Caleb sent two parts. Dear Sophie, I've been a follower of yours for around two years now and I'm finally writing. I see Caleb, I see you loads in the comments section. My name is Caleb and I'm 22 years old, recent college grad from Texas. I wanted to write to tell you that your videos truly inspire me. I've grown up loving and passionate about art and craftsmanship found in luxury goods and to see you share that appreciation through your videos is great. I recently, in 2019, received my bachelor's degree in marketing and I love your videos about the business of fashion, your career and also you and David's own business. 
Although I'm only a year into the workforce, I have found myself in a role and I'm very unfulfilled by the company that is quite toxic for my mental and emotional health. So many of you say that. I think I had one of you write to me last time saying you were working somewhere and it was so toxic that it was almost giving you anxiety about going in. And I've worked in places like that where on a Sunday night you feel sick because you think I've got five more days of this. It's been a very difficult year for me mentally, but your positivity and authenticity has been so refreshing and something I look forward to in your videos. Although I find myself in this current rut, I'm optimistic and working towards a career in fashion management. I'm currently applying to luxury fashion masters programs and looking for a job in the industry that will help me achieve my goals and help me move to New York, London or Paris one day. I'm curious of any advice that you might have for me as someone who's just starting their career and already feeling trapped and lost. I actually did have a thought about this as I was reading it out and Caleb, I hope this helps, but actually anyone else who's watching, I hope this helps you. I've actually had quite a few letters from a lot of you during lockdown from those of you, I would say, who are 24 and under, particularly, very particularly, those of you in college who are sort of 17 through to nine, 19 or 20. A lot of you have graduated and you beat yourself up because you think, oh, I haven't gone and got or found myself the best possible job and somehow I'm a failure. And I just wanna say, even Caleb, you're, you're young, you're 22. It took me quite a long time to get my foot in the door somewhere that, that then helped me to step up to the next level. And I don't think that you should feel inadequate about that. My number one anxiety, I remember it so well, my anxiety started as soon as I left or graduated university and the anxiety I had is what am I going to do with my life? I can't find a job. I've got loads of debt from university and I, that kept me awake at night. Those three things kept me awake at night. And I'd have jobs, but I would do cleaning jobs. Nothing wrong with that. But when you're laden with like 40,000 pounds worth of debt and you've got the bank being like, can you pay it back please? The cleaning job isn't really cutting it. And it, it's, it's horrible. It's horrible and it's hard. But Caleb, I think the thing is, and it goes to all of you that have written to me, what I think sometimes what you don't realize is that, or maybe you do, but in what you've written, you're already working towards it. It's not like you're sort of sat there going, oh, it's not working out. You're actually already working towards it. And that's the only thing you can do. That is the best thing you can do. It's kind of a bit like, um, it's a bit like asking the universe to win the lottery when you don't play the lottery. You guys are all asking the universe for something, essentially, or you're, you're putting it out there that you want to get to a certain place and you're working towards it. So keep going. Then you go on to say, anyway, something that has stuck out to me in your videos and especially it, your, oh, September 9th vlog mail video is your empathy and lack of judgment as a man from the US, specifically Texas, where gender norms and stereotypes prevent many from living their truest selves. I find your perspective very refreshing. I was particularly engaged by your conversation with Anne Lee about the Dior bag being wearable for men. I wish I saw more of this on YouTube and social media. Although I'm not able to afford yet, you've written, that is the way to go. Never say I'm never gonna have it because then you never will. I think, that the best thing to do is to put out there that whatever it is you want and carry on doing your thing, do what you can to get towards it. So Caleb, you saying that is the best thing to do and anyone watching, if you want this stuff, it is, it is possible. If I can do it, anyone can do it. And I say that because I've not come from a wealthy family. All I've done is nine to five. I actually did have a comment the other day saying, you can't do this on a nine to five. You can, but you have to like really dig in and boost your way up. I'm excited to share with you that I've purchased a coach belt bag, the Rivington with the oval logo patch, not the square in a dark solid navy and I'm absolutely in love. I plan on wearing it crossbody and although we all must start somewhere, I'm excited to be in my luxury bag journey with this piece. And you say it's full leather, but I forgot to mention that. 
Coach, I love Coach. I've been talking about Coach for the last two years or something. I really like their stuff. And in this day and age where everything's getting stupidly expensive, like, have you seen the price of this stuff? It's got crazy. Like, this is actually why I quite like Goyard. I mean, at least with their stuff, they're not taking the absolute mickey with it. Caleb, what a lovely letter. Thank you so much. And I will, I might have already written back to you. Have I written back? I'll have to check it after, but thank you. The next card is, is this from Karen? It's from Karen, I recognized your writing. This is how much we all write to each other. Dear Sophie, I was once again amazed and dumbfounded to find your delightful Christmas card in my mailbox a few weeks ago. Thanks for writing to me so faithfully. We're in the middle of a fairly big snowstorm here in the northern suburbs of Chicago. Our very first real snowfall of any significance, so I'm choosing part of this afternoon to write back to you. Ken and I drove, Ken is Karen's husband. Ken and I drove four days back from Phoenix to Chicago in early November. Seeing so much of the United States by driving there and back via different highways and different highway systems was a nice, nice experience. We saw oil rigs working hard in ta Texas, lots of wild flowers, some cactuses in New Mexico, rolling fields, horse farms, all the way traveling through Arkansas and later to Southern Illinois. Much varied terrain and many hundreds of miles. Oh my God. Do you know, that sounds really nice. I've always got this very romantic idea in my head about driving through the States, but I'm not talking about the touristy areas. I mean, the true, the true States. You know, where, where a lot of you guys say to me, I had one of you write to me a while ago saying, forget New York, you've got to go to this place. It's where I live and it's amazing. And when I looked it up, it was just, quintessentially the US. And so when you explain that you're driving through, like, you know, when you see on films, we don't have it in the UK because we're a small country and there's like, there's houses and places built everywhere. But in the US, you know, when you see on films, uh, when they're driving and there's just like huge expanses of nothing forever, I've always fancy doing that and then stopping in a motel. Is this something that you guys do in the States? I'm sure you guys probably think that we have tea all the time and stuff like that. And I'm sure some people do. I actually don't like tea, but no, that sounds like you had a really good time. Karen, thank you so much for writing. I haven't written back to you yet, so I'll do that. That's um, that's all the bits of mail. As I mentioned, I have got more, but a lot of you have said that you um, want to keep it private, which is fine. Thank you all for watching. If any of you do want to write, by the way, I'm going to put my PO box below. And that's all you have to do. Write to me, put your return address. I will write back. Uh, if you don't want it read out, just let me know. If you do, then either say nothing or let me know as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.